Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel, or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this in one go, so if I stumble over my words going forwards, I apologise in advance. And I should also apologise in advance if the quality of this video is poor, if there's any lag, anything like that at all. Sadly, it cannot be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. So this is yet another Eurovision Song Contest 2020 related video. Earlier today, at the time of recording this video, it's the 30th of January, I listened in full to the Spanish entry for Eurovision 2020, Universo by Blas Canto. Feel free to watch that video where you can hear my thoughts. There's also a blog post that accompanies it. There'll be a link in the description to that. And I thought it was an alright entry, but nothing truly spectacular. Now I'm moving on to Sweden, because their national selection starts this Saturday, the 1st of February. And as any Eurovision fan will be able to say, Melfest is a big deal. It's pretty much the most watched show in Sweden every year. And I think about 3.5 million people watch the grand final. It lasts several weeks. Established names, newcomers, and generally the quality is pretty high. And today, Swedish television have released snippets of the audio for the first seven songs, the seven songs that will be taken to the stage this weekend for the first semi-final. As always, let me know your thoughts. I'm very interested to hear these snippets, of course, and I'm sure people on YouTube will be uploading these uh, audio fragments, if you will, in order of preference, but the thing with Melfest videos on YouTube is that they can be taken down very quickly. It's best to upload Melody Festival and related content after the contest has finished, which will be sort of in the middle of March. Anyway, I think we've reached a point in Eurovision now where Sweden can almost get away with sending anything and finishing the top 10 because they are consistently strong, particularly in the jury vote. Maybe not so much these days in the public vote, but that might change in May, who knows. And one thing's for sure, I think Swedish television are very confident every year that there's at least one or two songs in the mix that could definitely win the contest overall. But anyway, I have the audio snippets here for the first semi-final, which will be at the Saab Arena in Lin Sherping. And the songs in contention are Move by the Mamas, Moves by Susie P, Take a Chance by Robin Bengtsson, who represented his country in Kiev in 2017, finished in the top five, very charismatic performer. Ballerina by Malu Pritz came out of nowhere last year. I think she's still only about 16. She had a great little pop song, which ended up being one of my personal favourites in Melfest last year. Inga Problem by Ovi Ur. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that exactly correctly. Do let me know. Slute Aldrig Gore by Sonia Aldien. Been many years since she was involved in Melfest. And Boys with Emotions by Felix Sandman, formerly part of Bo and o, who've been in Melfest before. And he's been a soloist in Melfest as well, I believe. So, after that ramble, it's time to listen to the songs. What I will say is that I think Melfest is getting quite predictable year after year. Even without hearing any part of the songs for this first semi-final yet, I would assume Robin and Felix will go directly to the final. I would assume that the Mamas and Malu Pritz would go to the second chance round, as it's known, and the other three songs would miss out entirely. And I could sit here now and tell you my thoughts on semi-final two, three and four without hearing anything of the songs whatsoever. And I think most Eurovision fans could do the same. But there's always maybe one surprise... And I wonder who it will be this year. What I read yesterday, yesterday evening, I read uh, reports that Swedish journalists had put online or whatever. And apparently Robin's song is brilliant and probably a potential Melfest winner. Felix apparently has a very strong song, The Mamas too. But I'm about to listen to them for the first time. The website that I have up is svtplay.se where minute-long snippets of all the songs have been placed online. So I'm going to begin with Move by The Mamas, who of course were the backing group for Jon Lundvig last year in Tel Aviv, but I think they're one member down. Here we go. Apologies if the quality of this video goes a bit funny, because I am playing a video as well at the same time. Here we go. Let me know your thoughts. Okay. Soulful, a bit gospel. Very powerful opener. 
Great vocals. Good beat. This is very nice. Quite happy. This is great. I've got no complaints. A little bit repetitive as it goes on. I'll tell you what, that's a very strong opener to this Melfest semi-final. Like I said, it got a little bit repetitive, but there's elements of soul and gospel. I really quite like that. Not bad at all. Good stuff. Moving on to song two, this is Susie P with Moves. Now, this song has been co-written by Joy Deb, who is a Swedish singer-songwriter who co-wrote, I believe, Only Teardrops for Emily de Forest, which was the Danish winner many years ago now. Susie P is a young female musician. Something tells me this is going to be a bit rap. I'll give it a listen. Okay. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Okay. Yeah, there's a bit of a hip-hop vibe to this one. A glitchy sort of beat. Hmm, I quite like her voice. Okay, it's starting to sound a little bit more summery. If that's the right word to use. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. This bit here, I'm about 40 seconds in. This bit here sounds really similar to Replay, Cyprus's entry last year. Okay. It started off quite well, but this bit here, towards the end of the snippet, it doesn't sound that original anymore. Hmm. Not sure what to make of that. It's not bad, but I wouldn't say it's that brilliant either. You know it's probably going to end up missing out, going directly to the final and the second chance round as well. But that wasn't too bad. Not bad. Song three, here we go then. The first big gun this year, if you will. Robin Benkson looking exactly the same as he did a few years ago. The song's called Take a Chance. And, I mean, this guy... Will he be back at Eurovision? Who knows? I'm about to listen to the song. Oh my god, it sounds exactly like something Ed Sheeran would do. No bad thing, he's a major musician of course, so any song that sounds like something Ed Sheeran would do is probably bound to do well. Just an acoustic guitar at the moment. This is different from I Can't Go On, that's for sure. Oh. Oh. Maybe it's just me, but that sounded a little bit like ABBA there <laughs> when the chorus kicked in. I'm not sure, actually. There is an urgency to the beat, but it's all a little bit underwhelming, actually, now I've listened to the whole thing, pretty much. Maybe it gets better as it goes on. I need to hear the whole thing, and I will, of course, do that this weekend. Um, yeah, not quite as exceptional as those reports I read yesterday were making it out to be. If anything, I think the Mammoths is the strongest one so far. But let me know your thoughts. Not bad, not brilliant from Robin, I'll be honest. Now, this is the one I'm really looking forward to, ladies and gentlemen. Here she is, Malu Pritz, with Ballerina. Now, I'm expecting this to be low-key. I know that Ace Wilder, who's been in Melfest plenty of times, is going to be a backing vocalist on stage with Malu, I believe. And also Isa who's been in Malfest as a soloist too. There she is, very young. I still think she's only about 16. Shall we take a look? Malu Pritz, 16 years of age. She'll turn 17. Is that the day before the Melfest final? 
it is. So anyway, I'm looking forward to this. It's called Ballerina, and the songwriters are Thomas Gerson, Peter Bostrom, Jimmy Janssen. Big songwriting team. Here we go. Ooh. Starts off quite mysteriously. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Quite like this. Quite contemporary. She's a good singer, we know that. This ticking clock motif. Okay. Powerful chorus. Oh, I like this very much. Maybe it's not the most original melody, perhaps, but that's the strongest one so far for me. I had a feeling I'd really like it. Malu Pritz, good stuff. Moving on. Song 5, this is going to be rap. It's Inga Problem, which I believe means no problem. O, V, U are performing it. Here we go. Two guys. Here we go. Yeah. This is sort of rap. I'm not into this. It's not my style of music. It's not going anywhere. These sorts of songs, they never seem to do that well, do they? I mean, it's not awful. By no means is it awful. But I have to say, that's very forgettable, in my opinion. That will do well not to finish last here, in my opinion. Moving on to song six, Sonia Aldean, very experienced musician. The song's called Sluta Aldrig Go, which I think means stop, then go, something like that. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, Bobby Jungren, big songwriter, is involved with this one. Song six, in the first semi final of Melfest 2020. Here she is. It's a ballad. Nice voice. Little bit ethereal. Dreamy stuff. But this is exactly the sort of song that would have featured in Melfest 10, 15, 20 years ago. It's okay, it's very safe. It's not bad. It's all right. Harmless stuff. Sounds very similar to her last Melfest entry, I think. Many years ago. Yeah, that's fine. But I think people will forget it very quickly. Which leaves... Felix Sandman. There he is. With Boys With Emotions. Now this could be a serious Melfest contender. Let's be honest. People are going to vote for this man in their droves. Let's see if the song's any good. And let's be... Well, let's be honest. He is a serious contender. Because Sweden don't really send women these days. This is very radio friendly already. A touch of the Justin Bieber about it. I'm not a huge Bieber fan. The chorus is a little underwhelming here. 
I'll tell you what it's like. It's like Billie Eilish meets Justin Bieber meets Ed Sheeran and they've somehow created a child and this is what that child is now singing. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I mean, it's alright, but it is not the best song here in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. That's all I can say about it, but it's not the best song here. No, 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 not in my opinion. But he will probably smash the opposition and cruise through to the final in Stockholm in March. That's it. Those are the seven songs. My thoughts, you've heard them. In my opinion, I think it will be Robin and Felix who go directly to the final, and I'm hoping it's Malu and it more than likely will be the Mammoths who go to the second chance round. But based on those snippets alone, for me personally, I would have uh, Malu Pritz and probably the Mammoths in my personal top two, and then Robin and Felix third and fourth. Probably... Um, sorry, where is she? Susie P fifth, Sonia sixth, and Ovi Ur uh, seventh. That's it. I know rehearsals are underway in Lin Sherping. It is Lin Sherping and not Lid Sherping, isn't it? Lin Sherping. I know rehearsals are taking place right now. The stage is looking impressive. Apparently it's the biggest Melfest stage ever, although it doesn't look it in the pictures. Let me know your thoughts. This video is much longer than I was expecting. And I'll be back soon, probably, with my reaction to the snippets of the semi-final two songs for Sweden's national selection. Links will be in the description below to my other social media pages. And until next time, apologies if the quality of this video wasn't great. Thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.